So, okay. So, um, first of all, I'm just going to say, because I started recording, so you know, um, I want to introduce to everybody Crystal's mom, Crystal Kristoff's mom. Her name is Miss Janice Kristoff, and she's um, volunteered to answer a couple questions for us on how it has been being a parent of a child, uh, of having a child that has albinism. So... <laughs> Thank you for coming. Okay. You're so welcome. So, welcome. did you ever think, like, was there any thought when you were pregnant with Crystal or any of your children that any of your children would have albinism? No, I, I never thought in my entire life that I would have an albinism child. So when you had her... I when when you had her, what was you and your husband's response to that? Like, how did you re respond to that? You know, it's good to when you were first born and, and, and they hold, you know, they hold your baby up. How is that so? It's <laughs> not And nobody believed me. Nobody. Nobody. Believed that she was a minor baby. Nobody. Wow. Nobody believed it but me. Wow. picture she had on Facebook. I was like, oh, look at the cute little baby. She looked like a little porcelain uh, doll. <laughs> yeah, pretty baby. And so finally when they uh, said that she was, they said, good, they believed me. As far as my mom and my dad and my picked or did you pick it when she was born and you saw her? Right. And, and in uh, Virginia, I guess they had like a, 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 a vision program because I never get 
it wasn't meant to be then. It wasn't meant to be, no. But something was outgoing. I had a lot of friends. Lost my heart, you know. Mm. Mainly boys. Wow. But it's my but you know, uh, they had special needs for, you know, when Crystal was a vision problem. Uh huh. Especially, we came from Virginia area. Oh, 
no. Wow. Oh, Little Crystal. <laughs> oh, wow. That is so interesting. Isn't that something? Everybody do Crystal. Everybody do Crystal. Uh, we have a kid and this lady, this Caucasian lady came down to my door. You know what she told me? She said, I'm here to meet you because my son, that's all he talks about is Crystal. <laughs> Right. Right. And I see that a lot of us females that have albinism tend to gravitate more to males than we do the females. I I mean I there's quite a few people that have it that I noticed that that's how the scenario usually is. We have more male friends than we do female friends. Because females, I mean, came with a lot, well, because they come with a lot of drama. Males a little bit more laid back when it comes to stuff. You know, we just trying to play, have fun, get it in, do what we do. Females, there got to be some drama with it somewhere down the line. And, you know, we already have enough issues and stuff that we have to deal with. So we grab, I, I know I did. There's a few people that I know that gravitated more to the males than the females. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's still the case to this day with me. I have more male friends than I do female friends. Oh, okay. Okay. It seems like she does too. Yeah, it's it, better. It, it, really, it seems like now, I mean, it's not, it seems like she has more kind of Caucasian female friends than she does white friends. That could be. I'm finding that a lot of my friends now are, you know, a lot of people that are becoming friends that I would, you know, consider to be, you know, at least very beginning stages of friendship have albinism. Uh -huh. They have albinism. And they're female. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. There's a select few, but... <laughs> uh -huh. But I have respect for everybody. Every time I see albinism, like, uh... Oh, a couple of months ago, I saw a set of Alvinism, uh, a little baby. Oh, she was cute. It was a, I think it was a twist. Oh, wow. Honey, it was so cute. I had to pull out, I didn't have a picture to pull out, she had a crystal. Oh. Oh, it's all there was just a little doll baby. Did both of them have Alvinism? No problem. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, no problem. Uh, a girl. What? Uh, yes, it was a girl. Uh, I know they were too cute. They were so cute, girl. They were so cute. Oh, man. See, now you didn't get a picture. Yeah, they were so cute. I saw them at Walmart. I said, I don't know what they were doing. Wow. seen a set of twins either like actually physically lay eyes on them myself but I've seen pictures of you know uh -huh. but I've never actually seen a set of twins Twins, you gotta have like two people when you do everything out in public. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true, that's true. Now, do you have any kids? I have a daughter, yes. Okay. Now, does she have albinism? No, she does not. Uh -huh. No, she doesn't. Uh -huh. Now, who had it in your family? My mother and my father. Is it I, on my on my mother's side? It stems from my grandmother's side. On my father's side, I have no idea because he. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know who on my mother's side. Uh, 
Now, my oldest daughter is like, she's got some uh, research. It did have to be on both sides, correct? It is. That is correct. Uh, uh, that's, that's what uh, she needs to do. It may be it may be further back. It could be further back. Yeah, I found out it's so far back that nobody knows. They didn't know, you know. Right. But if he's on on Chris side, he didn't know. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, we didn't we didn't know. They didn't know on my mother's side or my father's side. They had no idea. But then when we started finding out the little bit of stuff that we did find out, uh -huh. that it came from the mother's side and the father's side. Then, but I always looked like my great grandmother. They said. Uh -huh. So when you look uh -huh. at the picture, when you look at her picture, she had like red hair. She was super light. You know what I mean? But uh -huh. they say I favored her. But. On my father's side, my uncle, he's like really, 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 really light, red bone, uh -huh. like with red hair, the same that they're saying like with my grandma, my great grandmother, uh -huh. on my grandmother, on my mother's side. But they're uh -huh. saying that those were two indications of something, but nobody, uh -huh. nobody knew anything. So okay. it just, you know what I mean. So when I was born, they was just like, what? <laughs> This how what how how is this? And then uh, years later, we went to our family reunion in '98. Uh, uh -huh. By this time, my daughter she was like six years old or something like that. Yeah, she was uh -huh. like six years old. And um, uh -huh. we went down to a family reunion in Alabama, and the uh, busload of our family came in from California, and a lady had a baby that had albinism, and she just um found out that my mother that I was my mother's child and they were sitting there talking and she was like um she was like I would she was like I would love to keep in touch so that my granddaughter could see and meet you know and keep in touch with your with your daughter because and we I don't know what happened they lost contact or whatever but now she got to be like 13 or 14 or maybe somewhere between 13 and 15 years old now. So I would like to see. So that was, you know, we found out in 98 that it, that's how I know it's definitely on my grandmother's side. Uh -huh. Because it comes from that side of the family. Uh -huh. Now, uh, years ago, I know when Christopher we were overseas, they say like it's a, uh, they did in our research on Avenism and Philadelphia. Oh, really? stuff that I don't know I mean I know very little when it comes to the whole big scheme of things when it comes to albinism I mean I'm learning as I go so I'm not uh -huh. really I'm not really sure exactly of any you know I'm not sure okay. yeah I don't know I don't know too many you know but that's why you know trying to interact and get everybody together and find out what they know what they've experienced that's how you learn you know that's why we're trying to do what we're doing yeah because believe it or not i don't know if Crystal told you when she went to uh when she moved there to uh when she know would you believe in the department of labor was paying her rent wow Because she was going to school, it's like a rehab, you know, with albinism, you know, that's considered a handicap. Wow. Did you know that they were picking up the tab of her rent? No, I did not know so that. Her rent? Mm -hmm. See, there's so many things that are out there that we just don't know about, you know? I know, and you know what? And they don't tell us. Oh, of course. Oh, well, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> None of that. that.
Wow. That you were still in high school then, and that, that was she got ready to go to college. That's why they came up with so much instruments and everything there that she could take. They came to my house like 12 o'clock at night. Wow. <laughs> Bringing me all this stuff that she could take with her. That was great. Uh-huh. And she now, by her being a part of, now she's considered uh, her resident. Pittsburgh. If you all really talk about all what y'all can get in Pittsburgh. What? I mean, uh, like, is it, you know, like, like, I told Crystal, like, she's not considered legally blind. Are you? I am. Okay, now, do you have certain, like, cab or special cab that can come and pick you up and take you to your job or something like that? I mean, we they have something called access, but I mean, it's so weird. I haven't even tried. I mean, I tried the. I called to get the information just to have it years ago, uh-huh. and it goes by your income. And back then, I didn't qualify. So even though you qualify medically, you don't qualify like financially because like you make too much money or something like that. I'm like okay, but I mean. I never utilized any services. I just, I mean, we just, my mother made sure I had my eye exams and stuff like that. My glasses right. were always, you know, right. the right prescription and things like that. We, I, you know, I wore sunblock and things like that. But other than that, they, right. we didn't make it. There was no, I mean, I had a vision itinerary teacher, which they got my books enlarged and stuff like that. But I was like, I don't want these books. <laughs> you know, like, she didn't want them, but she didn't have them enlarged. But she said, I don't need those things. Yeah, like I'll make my own way. I'm not trying to. Use... You know what they say? They say, well, they're here if you need them. Yeah. I mean, I had, I mean, I had a whole different desk. I had to, like, have a whole different desk for man. These super big books. I'm like, I don't. I was like, man. And I used to, at first, I used to carry them. And then I was like, I am not doing this anymore. I want the regular book back. I don't want this book. <laughs> we had to walk. Them books were too big to be carrying. I was not trying to carry them books when I could carry a smaller, heavier, like a smaller book. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Uh huh. Yeah, I hear you. Plus, I think, I don't know. Have you been down to the state department to the popular one? No. Do you ever go down there? No. Not unless uh-huh. I have to. Why don't, I don't, why don't you all go down there and see what y'all are entitled to? I'm going to do that. Huh? I'm going to do that. You do you want to do that? I'm going to do that. Let's see. Let's see. It's something, you know, I just don't, because, you know, they have white albinism, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's so many different, yeah, so many different. Yeah. Yeah. Some people don't know that, though. There was a lot of people that didn't know that. They, everybody just assumed, uh-huh. you know, that it was just, yeah. to a lot of things. I just navigated throughout life the way I did. I mean, I knew what I could do, what I couldn't do. I never I never thought about making it easier. I thought about just dealing with it as it was. That's how I, you know what I mean? And didn't know. And a lot of it that also had to do with what I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know either. There's a lot that I didn't know, so. Yeah, but I always tell people, you know, 
Because she can get to anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, she researched and found that place. Yeah, she can get to anywhere. Uh, anywhere. That's why I pray to God that she can find a real job that kids. I know. We're praying for that. We're definitely praying for that. Because we don't want her to leave. Yeah. I have to come back home. I have to come back home to Mama. I know. Uh-huh. I mean, Crystal, she's definitely very well versed in so many different areas, so something definitely will come about. Wherever it is, that's where it's going to take her, you know? Yeah, yeah. Not afraid, because I tell you, when that girl went over, overseas for a year by herself, what? <laughs> you got her up, because I could have done it. <laughs> I would have loved to have been able to do that. She did it by herself. I know she enjoyed that. She sure did. She went to school and by herself. Nobody. That's how you gotta go get it. Uh -huh. That's how you learn. That's how you experience. That's how you go get it. That's right. Nobody else you want to die. Well, I mean. <laughs> No, I mean, I really appreciate, you know, what you've given us so far. I mean, uh -huh. it's definitely yeah, been a pleasure. Yeah, I, I really want you all to go out there and see what, what you guys are entitled to. We're going to. We're going to make that the next. We're going to record that. So you'll be able to see it whenever it runs. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, so I'm definitely going to do that because we're, you know, I went up, I'm trying to raise awareness, so I want to make sure that I have the facts on things versus, you know, so I, that's why I don't put a whole bunch of things out there that I don't know. What I do know, yeah, but what I don't know. Uh huh. Exactly. Because teenagers, you know, with Chris, I remember Crystal could go see the, uh, well, she would always see the ladies only when she came to Georgia. But they were paying so much of her rent, it was just amazing. Right. Mm -hmm. That was definitely yeah, a blessing. Her rent was coming from Georgia. Wow. Mm-hmm. But she was, uh, uh, she was in you giving me a call and doing the interview sharing your experience with your daughter it sounds like it was a great one it's good to hear you know stories like that because a lot of times we hear so many different stories you know how people struggled and their parents not even accepting it and you know how they're not dealing they didn't deal with it well so you know, they're uh -huh. not dealing with it well, and, you know, they're still trying to grow, and, you know, so we hear a lot of stories like that, so it's refreshing to hear where, you know, it was out there, and you knew, and you made sure that your child had, and you learned, and you taught her, and look at what you had. <laughs> you know, with a beautiful young lady. Uh-huh. And want teachers to be strong, you know, because they got to deal with the prejudice out there. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, uh, wow, we you know, the hurt people feel it. Right, right. Uh, 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 exactly. But she's, you know, uh, she's doing her thing. You should be definitely be uh, proud of her. And I keep my eye on her up here. <laughs> uh, I, when I first met her, it, it was on and popping from that point on. When I first approached her, I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 u
I have to say something yeah. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> so we was on the bus hollering phone numbers back and forth and we hurried up and put them in the phones and then we called each other later on and we talked for hours. <laughs> yeah, hours. I mean, just sharing things back and forth and, you know, different uh, experiences and stuff like that. And, I mean, uh, we always got along. It was just funny how I approached her because when I approached her, she was reading, you know, looking at her iPod and to her music, you know, Crystal, and to her iPod uh, and everything. And I was looking at her and I'm like, okay, you got to say something because you know you hate when people stare at you, so you have to say something to her. So I tapped her on her um, leg and I, she looked at me and she was like, yes. And I was like, you're albino, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, uh, yeah. I'm like, I am too. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay. And then, you know, we started talking and then we got into it and she almost missed her stop. So we're like hollering numbers while she's running to the front of the bus. <laughs> and then that was it. And here we are today. Yeah, she is. She is. She, her presence is definitely known whenever she's around you, whether she's talking to you, emailing you, you can always get that crystal impression, that crystal feeling. <laughs> I told her that the other day. She, you know, her inner beauty, she's just a beautiful person. Well, she is. She really is. That's her. So. First time, first time she's like that. Yeah, I know. That's the, that was the whole thing. That's just, that's how it was. It just, it connected. part of the process of you getting there. That's right. That's right. You will get there. Just be thankful. I said, just be grateful that parents that can help you stay where you want to be. Right. Uh, she definitely appreciates that because she really don't want to leave. <laughs> she really don't want to leave. So. sharing your daughter with us. Oh, definitely. I told her she, I mean, whatever she needs, I'm here. She knows that. She, she can call uh -huh. me. Yeah, y'all were talking to each other. Like she was telling me about you, just about they can cut the buses off and you walk in this dark area. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a dark area. And it's actually it's actually running this week. It's, it's, it's running on the website now. Yeah, it's because they did a whole bunch of Port Authority cuts, and it affect how it affected me. I used to be able to catch one bus down, like two, three blocks down, and or uh -huh. one, if I go one way, or one block down, and a half a block up, if I go right here, and uh -huh. it would take me straight to my job, right down to, at the bottom of the hill, and I could just walk up the hill and go to my job. Now I got to walk down this long, walk down all the way down to where I used to catch the bus, then walk down this long hill. And then walk across this parking lot, and then go and stand there and catch the bus to go to uh, to go to the same place. Well, I just found out and actually just learned that, and as of 2005, you can drive in the state of Pennsylvania with um, bioptic lenses and, and um, visually aided devices. So I'm looking into doing that, and I'm getting the car. I told my fiance that he already knows. That's like one of the things we're working on. Oh, 
we're getting the car because we're not going to be going through this because I'm done with Port Authority. It's just not, it's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse, you know. So my thing is, is just get a license and get a car and do what you got to do and put yourself in a better situation and be able to get a better job further out. So that's what we're going to do, especially when he gets here because it's going to be kind of rough starting off. Where's your, where's your fiance at? In Chicago. He's in Chicago? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. That's a good transportation system there, they say. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I haven't. I mean, he says it is. Have you been there? Not yet. You have to be stuck out. You have to go in. I know. I am. It's in the end of August. <laughs> mm-hmm. You going in August? At the end of August, yeah, we're going to go. Okay. 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 You have a lot of sunscreen, but it's going to be hot there, boy. Oh, yeah. I take my sunscreen everywhere I go. No. Putting it on all the time. I was going to tell Chris, I don't know how you think those cats really didn't make that. I have that. What's the SP? SPB? mom. Thank you, Crystal, for sharing your mom with us and just letting her share your, you know, you and her experience as mother and daughter and your family and things like that. So, it's definitely been interesting and nice. So, we just want to thank Miss Janice again and the Kristoff family and this is another Life Ain't Scripted production. <laughs>